Welcome back as per thing we have received a new update in the form of version 2.6. This update added support for XCSS and FSR 3.1 frame generation. I tested the game on my Windows PC that has a Ryzen 5700X 3D processor and an RTX 2070 Super GPU. Unfortunately, I was not able to access the in-game FSR and XCSS frame generation settings. FSR frame generation works on every GPU. I manually updated the in-game XCSS files to the latest ones that I got from XCSS SDK version 2.1. Still the setting did not get unlocked on my PC. This is why I'll be using OptiScaler mod to inject XCSS frame generation into the game. In my last video, I used OptiFG upscaler as the frame generation source. This was causing the game's HUD elements to exhibit minor ghosting. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use DLSSG via Streamline as the frame generation source. I was finally able to get this frame generation source working. In-game DLSS frame generation settings still does not get unlocked after installing OptiScaler mod, at least on my GPU. But we can enable the in-game DLSS frame generation and reflex settings by adding a few lines to the game's engine.ini file. This way, we'll be able to enable XSS frame generation using DLSSG via Streamline as the frame generation source and won't be required to deal with HUD fix, the game's HUD elements won't exhibit any ghosting. Just a heads up, this game comes with an anti-cheat implementation. Using OptiScaler mod in this game comes with a very big risk of getting your account banned. Yes, you heard it right. I won't be responsible if your account gets banned. Install OptiScaler mod in Wuthering Waves at your own risk. We'll be using the latest test build of OptiScaler mod. Version 0.9.0 Preview 2 20250907 build. It's available on their Discord server. I'll give the link to their Discord in the description of the video. Just click on the .7z link here. The game comes with an older version of DLSS 4 upscaler. I'll be overriding DLSS upscaler via NVIDIA app. We'll be verifying the upscaler's details using DLSS debug overlay. Activate the overlay by executing this registry code provided by Emos. Copy the lines. Create a new text file anywhere on your PC, name it anything you want, I'll just name it as overlay. Change the extension from .txt to .reg. Hit enter, yes. Select the file, right click, open with, notepad. Paste the lines here. Click on file, click on save, close and run this registry file. If you want to disable the DLSS debug overlay, replace the number 4 here with 0. Click on file, click on save, close and run this registry file. I'll revert the change as I want to enable DLSS debug overlay. Select the file, right click, open. Yes, OK. Now I'll install OptiScaler mod. Open the mods archive file and just copy the highlighted files OptiScaler.ini, OptiScaler.tll, XCSS frame generation file, DirectX 11 version of XCSS not required, XCSS super resolution, XCSS low latency mode, fake NV API.ini, and DLL files. Fake NV API will replace the in-game reflex implementation with XCSS low latency mode which will help in cutting down the latency. Fidelity FX files, DX12, Vulkan version not required. Right click copy. Select the game in your Steam library, right click manage, click on browse local files, open client folder, open binaries folder, win64 folder, paste everything here. Replace. Now just change the name of optiscaler.tll file to d3d12.tll file. The mod has been installed. Now I'll just override DLSS upscaler via NVIDIA app. Click on graphics. Click on the three dots here. Click on refresh. The list will show you all of the games installed on your PC. Just select Wuthering Waves. Now Look for this setting, DLSS Overwrite Model Presets, click on the pencil icon next to it. Click on Latest, click on Apply, we are done here. I'll enable Hardware Accelerated GPU Shirt Link setting, right click anywhere on the desktop, click on Display Settings, then click on Graphics, Advanced Graphics Settings, enable Hardware Accelerated GPU Shirt Link setting from here. If your monitor supports VRR, enable it. I'll enable VSync from NVIDIA Control Panel. Click on Manage 3D Settings, click on Program Settings from this drop down bar, select Wuthering Waves, scroll down to the end, enable VSync from here, apply the changes. My monitor is G-Sync compatible. I'll enable the corresponding settings for it, click on Setup G-Sync, 
enable the following settings enable g-sync g-sync compatible enable for full screen mode and enable settings for the selected display model i'll also enable g-sync compatible indicator this step is optional click on display here and check this setting g-sync compatible indicator we'll be using afterburner and rtss to show you the performance metrics just open rtss click on setup here scroll down to the end and make sure enable frame rate limiter and allow beg your pardon and inject nvidia reflex latency marker settings are disabled enable use microsoft d2's api hooking setting now rtss should not interfere with the functioning of optiscalar mod we are ready to run the game play this game supports both directx 11 and directx 12 modes need to run the game in directx 12 mode if you want to use ray tracing on my pc the game ran in directx 12 mode by default if it's running in directx 11 mode you need to add a launch argument to the game dash tx12 you can add the launch argument via steam or create a desktop shortcut for the game's main exe file and then add the launch argument to it in game settings screen mode set to full screen this is borderless full screen mode frame rate 120 vsync disabled most of settings set to high motion blur disabled anti leasing enabled bloom disabled as well rest of the settings enabled interactive environment setting once enabled the environment objects have physics based responses to the player's behavior such as attacks and skills foliage fade out on auto exposure on upscaler yeah dlss only have access to dlss using its quality preset sharpening level nail up to you ray tracing it's on using its low preset following effects enabled ray tracing in this game is very heavy on the hardware tanks the fps my current location i'm in the region of renasita there's rover just open optiscalar menu by pressing the insert keyboard key from this drop down bar make sure dlss upscaler is selected version 310.3.0 presets are overridden externally i am using nvidia app that's why input in game dlss txgs spoofing off auto expert setting is enabled can be verified via dlss debug overlay which is shown in the bottom left corner render preset used is k it's the transformer model of dlss4 base resolution 720p upscale to full hd auto explore setting enable this setting helps in reducing ghosting around the objects in the environment also fixes texture shimmering effect produced by shiny objects frame generation disable for the time being this i'll just enable optiscalar's performance overlay expand the fps overlay section now. and check this setting fps Very overlay enable full I've plus graph save i close hey we are getting close to 60 fps keep an eye on the one percent close i'll just fly around the environment spread my wings thunder and lighting big open area i can see some npcs in the background doing their stuff i hey, observing some stuttering gain some height okay now i'll drop down fps stays close to 60 idle for using frame generation engage in combat Just spam my abilities. The end has come. Fifty six to sixty FPS. Change my character. Use the ultimate ability. Yeah, this is enough. Now I'll show you how to enable XCSS frame gen. Just run away from here. They are chasing me. Open Optiscalar Mod menu, click on the drop down bar next to FG Source and select TLSSG via Streamline as the option. Now click on the drop down bar next to FG Output and select XCFG as the option. Just click on Save INI. Exit the game. With this frame generation source, we also need to enable the in game TLSS frame generation and reflex settings, but these settings cannot be toggled from the in game settings. I'll show you how to enable them. Just open the game's install directory, open client folder, open saved folder, open config folder, open windows no editor folder, 
open engine.ina file. Just scroll down to the end and add the following lines. Paste. I'll provide these lines in the description of the video. You can copy the lines from there and paste them here. Click on file, click on save, close. Run the game. Now hit the same checkpoint. Open OptiScale menu. Now you just need to check active setting under frame generation XCFG. Current streamline FG state on frame time graph. Yeah, it became thick. This means XCSS frame gen is working. Current method mentioned under frame rate section XCLL low latency mode. Use its FPS limit 11 FPS. Yeah, it's working. <laughs> Again, it's running in a slow motion state. Remove this FPS cap. Set it to zero. Apply. Enable debug view. Yeah, you'll see these purple sidebars. If XSS frame generation is working, check out the game's HUD elements. They are not exhibiting any ghosting. Perfect. Disable the debug view. Save and I close. Play the game. Just fly around. Check out the hard elements close to our character. They are not exhibiting any ghosting. Ghosting was produced when I use Opti FG Upscaler as the frame generation source. Using my glider, again, the hard elements around our character are not exhibiting any ghosting. It's perfect. Engage in combat. FPS is close to 100. Animation quality is looking much smoother now with XCSS frame gen compared to the game running without frame gen. Use my abilities. Very good results produced by XCSS frame gen. You can even use FSR frame gen now. The process is very simple. I'll show you that as well but fsr frame gen has a slightly higher latency and then xss frame gen open optiscular mod menu make sure fg source is set to dlssg via streamline fg output just set it to fsr frame gen click on save ini close need to restart the game just make sure you have added the lines to engine.ini file that enable the in-game dlss frame generation and reflex settings we are in, just open OptiScaler menu, check the setting active under frame generation FSIFG. Alloy Async setting enabled as well. Current method mentioned under frame rate section reflex. I'll show you the debug view. Yeah, no HUD elements are visible in the bottom middle image except for DLSS debug overlay. Just disable it after verifying the upscaler's details. Games UI won't flicker with FSR frame gen enabled. The color palette is exactly the same for the bottom middle and bottom right images. Smoothing effect of FSR frame gen will work properly. Displays are working properly for all of the images. Disable the debug view. Save and I close. Yeah, FPS is close to 100. Can observe the added amount of smoothness, but I'll be honest. FSR frame gen's latency is higher than that of XCSS frame gen. Fly around. Spreading my wings, games, hard elements, yeah, they are not flickering as expected. Not observing any artifacts around Rover's character model, even doing fast visual motion. So very good results produced by both XCSS and FSR frame generation in this game. But I would recommend using XCSS frame gen due to its lower latency than FSR frame gen. I played the game for about an hour with XCSS frame gen didn't encounter any crash or stability issues. Now before ending the video, I'll show you how to disable DLSS debug overlay. Just need to edit overlay.reg file that we created earlier. Select the file, right click, open with notepad. Replace the number 4 here with 0. Click on file, click on save, close and run this registry file. Open. Yes. Okay. That's it for the video guys. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.